Good afternoon. Ooh, can you hear me now? It's loud. Welcome to St. Charles Borromeo as we celebrate Divine Mercy Sunday on the second Sunday of Easter. And we welcome all those joining us through the magic of internet streaming. Let us come together in gratitude for the infinite mercy of our risen Savior. Please silence all cell phones and electronic devices. Couple of announcements. Gift cards are available in the gathering space after Mass. The Grief Support Group will meet in Borromeo Hall on Sunday morning at 9.30 a.m. That's tomorrow morning at 9.30. All those grieving the loss of a loved one are welcome to attend. Let us joyfully greet Christ and one another by welcoming those around us. We lift our voices in singing, There's a Whiteness in God's Mercy, number 491, 491. We are all gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. How are you all? Awesome. 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 We are in the Easter season, and in the Easter season, you know what happens. <laughs> well, we are reminded of our baptisms, right? Baptism reminds us we are all new creation, and a new life, a new birth, and uh, which means we ask the Lord of forgiveness, and uh, so we are Easter people. So we are reminded of the baptism. Oliver, do you want to join me? Oliver, please come forward. Yeah. Well, if you have sun, if you have glasses, you know what to do. You know, switch on the wipe. You know, you are with the wiper on. Glory to God in the and on earth peace, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God Almighty Father, 
Let us pray. God of everlasting mercy, who in the very recurrence of the Paschal feast kindled the faith of the people you have made your own, in Greece we pray the grace you have bestowed that all may grasp and rightly understand in what form they have been washed by whose spirit they have been reborn, by whose blood they have been redeemed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. I love to invite children to please come forward to pick up children's bulletin. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was of one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, but they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them for those who own property or houses would sell them, bring the proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles. And they were distributed to each according to need. The word of the Lord. And is exalted. 
A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is begotten by God. And everyone who loves the Father loves also the one begotten by him. In this way, we know that we love the children of God when we love God and obey his commandments. For the love of God is this, that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome. For whoever is begotten by God conquers the world. And the victory that conquers the world is our faith. Who indeed is the victor over the world, but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the one who came through water and blood, Jesus Christ, not by water alone, but by water and blood. The Spirit is the one that testifies, and the Spirit is truth. The word of the Lord. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. On the evening of the first day of the week, when the doors were locked, where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. 
Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger into the nail marks, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side, and do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered him and said to him, My Lord and my God. And Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now, Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that are not written in this book, but these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through this belief you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord. sins be forgiven. Since 2000, uh, we are celebrating, we've been celebrating second Sunday of Easter as Divine Mercy Sunday. And on Divine Mercy Sunday, we reflect more on the mercy of the Father, how merciful our God is. Merciful God, you know, how God, how God intervened or how God, uh, you know, lived in the history and changed our lives. Because like we, we know, at the beginning, everything was awesome. Everything was great. God and man, right? The evening, they walked together. No sin. God created everything good. Everything was awesome, beautiful. Then sin came. Sin changed the way people lived. And God intervened in different ways through patriarchs and prophets. And at last, God sent his own son. His amazing mercy, the mercy of God, is so much revealed, God becoming man, and lived among us like one of us, and showed us that way of life, through suffering, through death and resurrection. So he restored the lost paradise, which means we can again walk with the Lord. Like paradise at the beginning, we have an opportunity to experience that new life. We, can, uh, we have that opportunity to understand what it means. So that is why today's gospel, we re uh, remember Jesus before the disciples. The disciples were in a fear of the uh, Jews. They were so much carried away with the fear and uh, uh, you know, all kinds of depression. And Jesus standing in, in, the, in their midst and telling them, Peace be with you. And he breathed on them. He breathed on them. John, when you read in Greek, it makes you remember when you read that, it, anyone who reads in Greek will think, oh, this is exactly what happened in the book of Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. God made man in, with, the, with the clay. And he breathed on him and he started alive. This is the new creation. For John, the Gospel of John is all about a new creation, a new beginning. He breathed on them, new paradise, a new life. That Greek word, emphusao, a new physician, he breathed on them. Like in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 37, the Spirit of God on the dry bones, the dry bones became alive, flesh, new flesh. And this is like uh, the resurrection and uh, the new life. The Holy Spirit helped them to experience that paradise, the new beginning. So that be beginning, the new creation and new life, this is the mercy of God. And that is why in St. Faustina was commissioned to talk about the mercy of God. So uh, St. Faustina 
for her, the, her mandate was to talk, to talk about that mercy of God to the people, to talk about how God is so merciful and kind in generations, how God is guiding us all these years, the mercy of God. Then also, uh, she made the commitment to pray for the souls, commit them, and pray for the, all the souls, and continue to pray for them, and start a new mission of, uh, of uh, this mercy of God, how the, the a movement, start that movement of mercy, because everything we are because of mercy of God, everything we have is the mercy of God, so, so powerful. Then we remember today's gospel, again, the apostles. We are talking about Jesus who handpicked them, right? It was not somebody, uh, somebody chosen for Jesus, no. Jesus picked them as his people, his apostles. And what happened to them? They, they could not stand the suffering. They were afraid. Fear, anxiety, or depression because there, all the expectations were in vain. And they closed the door, right? They closed the door. They are inside the door. They don't want to see any, they are in fear. It will happen again to us. There are people among us, right? When we are threatened or when we go through struggles, we close our doors. We stay behind. We feel like, okay, I know, this, is, this was my goal. This is what I wanted to do. Right? My, now I am stuck. So that is the time that we remember, my God did not want me to be stuck. He wants me to move on. My, that is why the corporal works of mercy, right? The corporal works of mercy, spiritual works of mercy, the church, the body of Christ in action. We are in action, the body of Christ in action. We become the hand of the Lord, heart of the Lord. We make Jesus so visible. We make Jesus visible to be and bring that peace, bring that joy to the people in need. That is why we do everything here in a parish, the body of Christ, the universal church, the body of Christ. So as a human, we doesn't make sense. As a, so we have an opportunity to look through the eyes of God. I, have a, I always remember on Divine Mercy Sunday the beautiful parable of the prodigal son. You, you all know that prodigal son parable, right? So, you know, the father. The father is so kind and generous. The younger son took all his fortune. He took and gone. He spent it lavishly. He lost everything. He became a, a handyman for a, a you know, in, in a, in a uh, pig farm. And then he reminded how I was living with my God, with my father. He thought of, okay, let me go back. He decided to go back, right? When the, when the father saw his younger son coming all the way at the gate, what he did, he ran to him, right? He, with a great joy, he ran to him. He gave him a huge hug. He put his beautiful mantle on him. He gave him ring and new sandals, and he hugged him and said, you are grounded for life. No. <laughs> he didn't say that, right? <laughs> he didn't say that you are grounded for life. That is what we're going to say, right? Right? That is what we are going to say. Okay. I give you everything, okay? You took your, got your part. You spend everything. Now, grounded. <laughs> this is my house, my rules, do what I say. Right? That is what I'm going to say. That is what I am not God. <laughs> well, this is where the corporal works of mercy. In a human eyes, doesn't make sense. When we look at people, when people who need help, right? When we see people in the prison, we can say, they did this. We can judge them. When people come to the food pantry, we can judge them. The corporal works of mercy. I'm a priest. 
And uh, when I die, this is what I'm going to, I always going to remember. This is what I think, I believe. My father, God the Father is not going to ask me, or Jesus is not going to ask me, hey, Father, how was your homily? No, he wouldn't say that. I, <laughs> or how many years you did stay as a priest? No. I think there will be only two questions he's going to ask. The corporal works of mercy. I was a stranger. Hey, did you see me? I was in prison. Did you come to see me? I was hungry. I was thirsty. Did you give me food? Did you give me drink, something to drink? Did you give me the teaching, the, the, the spiritual works of mercy? Right? That is why we have an academy. We, that is why we do everything humanly possible to make that the, the corporal works of mercy, spiritual works of mercy is lived in this body of Christ, the mystical body of Christ, the church. We are part of that body of Christ. We are the hand of the Lord, heart of the Lord, make Jesus so visible. But our humanness to judge also, right? We, can, we may also judge. We are not supposed to judge. And so I want to wish you all a beautiful Divine Mercy Sunday. And I also want to say thank you for your faith. Thank you everything you do to make Jesus so visible. Our parish is so blessed with these 52 ministries. In those ministries, we have opportunity to make Jesus the corpus, the body of Christ, and the, the spirit of Christ, the wisdom of Christ, so powerfully visible through our academy and all other ministries. Your support, your financial support, your prayers, your participation, everything you do, you make Jesus so beautifully visible. And when you do that, we become, we experience that new life. Today we have a baptism right after the Mass. And we are reminded of the baptism. And in that baptism we are reminded, your sins are forgiven. You have become a new creation, which means we participate death of Jesus and we participate resurrection of Jesus. Every baptism we are reminded. Every time we ask, Lord, forgive me. That is why we go to confession. Lord, help me to become a better person. When I commit sin, I participate death. When I ask forgiveness, I participate resurrection, new life, new paradise. So every time when I do that, when I ask forgiveness, when I receive the sacrament of reconciliation, I become a participate resurrection. That is why I always love to say this way. Don't take it a different way. Take it just as I said. When you make, right? When you make a good confession, right after confession, you are a saint, right? Right? When Lord forgives our sins, we become like a saint. We become saint with a, a powerful, because act of contrition asking Lord forgiveness and receiving that grace, receiving the power of the Holy Spirit, we become saints. That is amazing, powerful. So awesome Divine Mercy Sunday to you all and thank you everything you do to make Jesus so powerfully visible in your life and in the life of the church. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. My dear friends, through the Paschal mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism so that we may walk with him in newness of life. And so now that our Lenten observance is concluded, let us renew the promises of holy baptism by which we once renounced Satan and his works and promised to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. And so I ask you, do you renounce Satan and all his works and all his empty show? Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? 
Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death, and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the dead, body, and life everlasting? And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and bestowed on us forgiveness of our sins, keep us by His grace in Christ Jesus our Lord for eternal life. Amen. Let us offer ourselves with our own prayers. That the Universal Church may remain faithful to the teaching of the Apostles, we pray to the Lord. That the nations of this world may share the peace of our risen Lord, manifested through his divine mercy, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our that we express our generosity and Christian hospitality by sharing our goods and possessions with those in need, we pray to the Lord. We join with Pope Francis and pray that the dignity and immense value of women be recognized in every culture, and for the end of discrimination that they experience in different parts of the world. Let us pray to the Lord. For the safety of all children and the healing of all children who have been abused, we pray to the Lord. For the sick and homebound and bereaved, that they receive the care and love and joy that they need, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our that the faithful departed will enter the sure hope and promise of their heavenly inheritance, especially Mary Cowper Mixon, for whom this Mass is offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our Thank you, Lord, how we listened our prayers. Thank you, Lord, helping us to become your hand, your heart, giving us the confidence, encouraging us, and walking with us. We make all these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Our hymn of preparation is We Walk by Faith, number 515, 515. Sweet. 
Let us pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the blessings of your people and of those you have brought to new birth, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain unending happiness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. At all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to love you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore overcome with Paschal joy, Every land, every people excels in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory. As they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit graciously make holy, these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. From the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks. He said the blessing, broke the bread and gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O oh Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again, until you come again. 
Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with you, elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, St. Charles Borromeo, St. Faustina, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, or Pope James, our bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters. And to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom, that we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. By the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With Let us uh, give each other a sign of Christ's peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ and the blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. The body of Christ. The blood of Christ. The body 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 of Christ. We join as one body singing, Behold the Lamb, number 341. Three, four, one. Still the world. 
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and hearts through Christ our Lord. Thank you all being here uh, you know, this weekend and uh, the on Divine Mercy Sunday. I just want to thank you again. Everything you are doing and uh, making Jesus so powerfully visible in uh, all the ministries, and especially and uh, you know last one week I'm so thrilled to see and uh, thank you for supporting these two uh, you know maintenance work. We have to it's a needed work and uh, all of a sudden like a last few days people were so generous you guys were so generous and thank you for making it possible that um, the you know the bell tower and uh, the facade is the front of the facade so someone just uh, took care of it you know but uh, that's amazing thank you so much and please join me uh, our servers a beautiful awesome great servers right thank you <laughs> and uh, uh, our we have a baptism libby june Heinz here, there's an infant is here. Okay, awesome. Well, 
Welcome to the Catholic faith, the Catholic Church. Yes, the visions and, uh, and let us ask our loving Lord's blessings. May the Lord bless you. Amen. May the Lord always protect you. Amen. May the Lord be gracious to you. Amen. May the Lord shine his face upon you, lift up his countenance upon you. Amen. May the Lord give you peace. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the almighty loving Lord bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God, alleluia, alleluia. We invite the children to come forward and join us on instruments to make beautiful music as we go forth to share the good news singing Alleluia, Alleluia, number 175, 175. 